Dear friends, today I am going to explain you how to solve quadratic equ equations whose applications we find by solving the numericals. Here one question I am explaining you. The question is, a boat can cover 10 km up the stream and 5 km down the stream in 6 hours. If the speed of the stream is 1.5 km per hour, find the speed of the boat in still water. So, first thing that you have to keep in mind that boat is speed or a steamer is speed is always greater than the current speed. Current speed. Okay? As here it is already given speed of the stream. Here current speed is only the stream speed. This always you have to keep in mind. This is always greater. Okay? So suppose here as, as it is given, here both the times are there. And one thing more that you have to keep in mind. Up is stream means in opposite directions. Up is stream means opposite directions. That means if this is the speed towards of a stream, a stream direction it is, then left side toward, that means towards the west, you will find it is a steamer or boat direction or boat direction. This is in upstream. And one thing more you have to keep in mind, in upstream, the speed decreases. This is the point that you have to keep in mind. And now, another thing that you have to know, this is downstream. That means both are in the same direction. That is downstream. This is a stream direction which is fixed. A stream direction you cannot change. But a steamer or boat direction you can change. And this is a steamer or boat direction. That means in this case what you find that speed increases. Then whose speed increases? The steamer or boat's speed increases. In this case, boat speed decreases, the steamer or boat speed decreases. And that's why steamer speed or boat speed is always greater than current speed or stream speed. Now here, in this case, in upstream distance we have how much? 10 kilometer. Okay? And in the case of downstream, distance is how much? 5 km. Okay. Now we suppose let the speed of the boat. We have to find out. So that we can suppose any letter you take, x km per hour. Then in the case of upstream, t1, that means time taken by the boat to go upstream. So time, that is T1 I have supposed, and that is equals to distance by speed. Whose is speed? Boat is speed in the upward direction that is called upstream. So distance is how much? 10. The speed is how much? So here you find, in this case, it is decreasing, that's why x minus the speed of the stream I will write. Okay? That means here in upstream, the speed of boat decreases and that's why it becomes x minus 1.5 kilometer per hour. And in the case of downstream, it is increasing, that's why speed of boat 
is equal to x plus 1.5 kilometer per hour. So, 10 by x minus 1.5, this so much hour became T1. Now, T2 is the time in the downstream. So, here also same formula distance by speed. Distance is how much? 5 kilometer. And speed is how much? Speed of the boat is how much? X plus 1.5. So, this so much hour. And according to question, here it is given total time T1 plus T2 that is equals to 6. Now you put the value T1 is 10 by x minus 1.5 plus 5 by x plus 1.5 that is equals to 6. Imply that. Now you know I had explained in one video and when two different numbers are there having no common factor in that case we multiply both the numbers. Okay? And here you find those two numbers are x minus 1.5 and x plus 1.5 both have no common factors that's why here we will apply a minus b into a plus b formula and that is equals to a square minus b square. So here also we multiply the it and we get x square minus 2.25. 2.25 how I got? 1.5 to the whole square gives us 2.25 from this formula. Okay. And then here 10 into. Now since I have multiplied these two. So when I will divide this by x minus 1.5 I will get x plus 1.5. So 10 into x plus 1.5. Again plus 5 into and again this LCM, this is the LCM of these two numbers. So if this is divided by x plus 1.5, what we will get? x minus 1.5 and that is equals to 6. Okay, now we simplify. So x square minus 2.25 and here we get 10x plus 15 plus 5x minus 7.5 and that is equals to 6. 6 means 6 by 1 and now by crisscross multiplication. What is this? Like this. Numerator into denominator and again right side numerator into denominator. Then what we get? 6x square minus 13.5 and that is equals to and this too much multiplied by this so 10x plus 5x it becomes 15x okay and plus 15 minus 7.5 we get plus 7.5 imply that 6x square and now this right side term we bring left side and we get 6x square minus 15x minus 13.5 minus 7.5 and that is equals to 0. So again we get 6x square minus 15x minus 21 equals to 0. And now you find that all these three terms are, now this is a quadratic equation, this became quadratic equation. And now here in all these three terms you find 3 is a common factor. So by dividing both sides by 3. Then what we get? We get 2x square minus 5x minus 7 equals to 0. And then by middle term factorization, middle term factorization, middle term factorization, that means a, this is a, coefficient of x square is a, coefficient of x is b and the constant term is c. So a into c is minus 14 and minus 14 we will factorize then we will get 2x square minus 7x plus 2x minus 7 equals to 0. Here x I am taking common because in these two terms x is common. So 2x minus 7 and here Nothing is common, that means 1 is common and I have explained you that 1 is 
a universal factor. One is present in all the numbers. That's why one I will take, and here we get 2x minus 7. That is equals to 0. And again, here you find 2x minus 7 is present in both the terms. So 2x minus 7 you take common. Then here how much is left? x is left, and here 1 is left. That is equals to 0. And you know that product of any two numbers is equals to 0 only when either of them is 0. So we will write that if 2x minus 7 is equals to 0, then x is equals to 7 by 2, that is 3.5 kilometer per hour. And if x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to minus 1, not possible. Why? Any dimension, any, suppose speed, that is in this case, here it is not possible because it is not decreasing, it is not decelerating, it is constant. Okay, so not possible and that's why our answer is 3.5 km per hour. That is the speed of the boat. Thank you. If you like, please subscribe and share.